so right now that we are in our source code that we have been working on so as you can see here the first thing that we need to do is that once we able once we are able to click any one of the block it should be going to a particular uh, blogs of just one particular blogs content and it should show the content basically so how do we do well is basically we need to pass the parameter as I mean we need to pass the ID of this particular block which is block 1 or block 2 I mean the, the block 1's ID is basically 1 so that's what we're supposed to be passing it into this link so how do we do that so that's the whole uh, that's the part that we're going to do in this part of the uh, video the first thing is that we need to make sure we are passing the dynamic data we need to pass the ID as a dynamic data so how do we do that so first of all we need to inside the link here we're gonna we're gonna add uh, I mean first of all let's remove uh, this quotation mark instead of put you need to put this quotation mark with a different one where you'll be finding it just beside your number one on your left hand side of your number one that's that's what I'm using here you just need to use this uh, this, this different uh, quotation mark and the next thing that we need to do we need to add uh, dollar symbol and we need to open and closing uh, curly braces so by doing this we are able to pass the data of of this particular uh, con block as and we need we can actually pass the ID as a dynamic data so by doing this we need to go to I need to click on post dot ID so let's give it a check if it works because as you can see ID is actually doesn't uh, is not inside attributes like this by the way so let, let's just give it a check then let's go to save all and let's go to our blog here and let it run before that let me just close it and go to the root file and make sure both of this both of this are actually running in their separate servers which is here is 1337 and here should be localhost 3000 so as you can see both of them are actually running uh, perfectly fine and right now we are going to localhost 3000 now what we're gonna do is just you know, just gonna just click any one of this for example I'm gonna click on this the first one and there you go I mean don't don't uh, don't think of, I mean you don't have to worry about this block yet just think about this uh, just just make sure you're able to achieve this uh, part this just just make sure you're able to uh, have this the, I mean the block followed by the ID of the code ID of the block sorry. so if I go back here if I go to the main page and if I go to the second block here, which it has its own ID called ID2. Okay, so this is the first part. The first part is done. So that's what we we have just did. And make hope sure. I mean, make sure that you are able to do follow up until here. And the next thing is once I able to go to that particular page, for example, block one here. And if I go to this page here, it says block two here. I should be viewing the content that comes from block two so that's the second part of the video is all about so basically we need to pass the data from this particular from this uh, card which is block one or block two into this particular block page so how are we how do we able how are we going to make it so let's go to our code here so we need to what are you going to do here this is the well this is the uh, block index I mean, block index we are already passing the data of the post here and this once we are able to achieve once you go to block index which is here we should be this is the one that once we click here and then it should this this link should go to the uh, page that goes to block and the next the third page that we, sh we should be going is this block page let me just zoom it this is block index Okay, so the third page that we should go is actually block. So this is the page that we're supposed to be doing right now. So as you can see here, once we are able to go from uh, this 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 particular uh, page to this page from from block index to block page, we must be able to I mean, and there needs to be a transfer of data that's supposed to be happening from from uh, this page, which is the block index, to your block page. So how do we do that? So first of all we need to pass the data as usual like how we have done in the first place in the first place which is block index here so we're going to do exactly like this we're going to take the whole uh, data like this copy it and we're going to do here as well inside block as well okay so now block is what we're going to we, we're going to pass the data of all the all the data that's coming from this particular uh, strap yeah that's what we are doing 
so the block should receive it on its end as well for example let's go to block here this is block not this but this so as you can see here the block page has its own uh, uh, parameter that that's supposed to be uh, uh, placed here but what I'm gonna do here just we're gonna take this and we're just gonna place it here because we are we are passing uh, a separate data but I mean it's a different data called uh, called post so instead of we don't need we don't need to any put any other uh, parameters inside in, yeah inside that so what are you gonna do we're gonna place this empty uh, curly braces here and just gonna make sure everything is uh, perfectly fine and currently this is empty here this is where we're gonna pass this is where we're gonna pass the data of of the block that's coming directly from strappy so just do the same way how you how you did we are how we did inside the block index so we, how we did in block index we actually passed the data and I mean the props like this As you can see you just just put the name of the, the the name of the props which is post here and of course post here and post both of them are post so we're gonna do that right now so it's gonna paste a post like this and the next thing is I would like to test whether are we able to receive it inside uh, inside block page so just gonna do it like this like this okay that should be good and I'll be like to save it save all just make sure there's no error uh, let me just go to uh, okay so the page has just refreshed what you're gonna do here just gonna click on index I mean uh, inspect and we're gonna go to console and let's see if there's an any error or oh, no there's no error it's just that the data is able to be passed correctly and there you go this is the data that's supposed to be receiving and yeah everything is perfect okay so let's so right now what we have just did here we passed the data that's coming from strappy directly into your blog page which we which is just not enough because we would like to show only only blog one so how do we do that so basically you need to match that's the that's the only solution we need to match your id of your match your id of your here and should match it with your strappy's uh, data example id this id so this id which is one here should be matching with this id here so that's what that's what is going to be that's what you're going to do right now so let's go to our block uh, page which is just here all right everyone so currently we need we need to make sure that the post that coming from uh, strappy should match the id the id of what we are what of the id of the parameter so that we are able to show exactly the exactly the the only uh, block that matches the id so what you're going to do here you're going to make sure we need to make we need to, we need to like have a like a parameter we need to like declare a variable called a params so params just going to see it means parameter i'm just going to make it short like this and what you're going to do what you're going to store inside the variable called params is we're going to use we're going to use a function called uh, use params so use params is a react uh, function that we should uh, it's a it belongs to router react router dom let me just uh, declare it at the top here and yeah as you can see we have, this has already been declared use params has already been declared so what we're going to do here use params is basically it just captures your the link at the end of the it just takes whatever the link you have at the end of the endpoint so by doing at the end, at the end of the url sorry that's the, that's the thing that's that's a better, better term to be used so what you can do here instead of uh, params here with this function you can actually call the the last uh, the last uh, the text i mean the last uh, uh, letter and that should be the id so that's what it's going to be all, all about and we're gonna the next thing we need we need to do is we need to also need to uh, make sure that this post should be we need to have a, like a filter filtering that only only that only only uh, post that matches this id should be the one that uh, should be displayed as the main block so I, I'm just gonna put let post and out to equal to uh, this data which is post and I like to make it uh, data like this something like this so that we are able to access the one inside here and of course we need to make sure we are able to filter filter based on what's the the filter based on the id does the id match this this particular uh, id with this particular uh, with, with use params uh, id so that's what we're going to do we're going to compare uh, just make sure this is your data which is the object of the function 
and make sure data I mean which is the uh, basically this post by the way let me just uh, if it's not data, I'm just gonna put post which is here this post dot uh, ID should match params dot ID so that's the second part of the code is all about second line of code is gonna be so what does it do is that it's actually just kind of trying to do a like a compare like it's trying to compare your post dot ID which is basically here and does it actually match the ID of the parameter so that's what it's going to be doing by doing this you're able to filter exactly what we want to exactly the only only post that that matches this particular uh, uh, comparison should be able to uh, should be able to uh, show up and that's what we, that's what this whole this line of code is all about and once you are able to store this uh, farm and find filter out the block we are able to save that block inside this uh, uh, variable called post so that is all about that's that's the thing that we have just did here and let's give it a check here let's go and just make a console here this console dot log and let us just uh, let's give it a try like put uh, post and since since this is, this is still an array matter so we need to put like a zero zero like this because this is still an array it is not uh, yeah and followed by attributes because yeah that's how that's the structure of the api followed by block title which is the yeah yeah this is the term that we will should we should be seeing and the next thing is that we should be able to uh, go save all all right everyone so currently that we are actually we need to we need to make sure that we are able to pass this this particular uh, data of the the first block i mean the block that matches the id of the parameter so the parameter is currently let's let's before uh, i mean let's before actually uh, uh like uh, printing the uh, the data of the matched id let, before let, let us check whether does this parameter is actually working this use param use param uh, function let's say console.log and let's go and click on uh, params and let's instead of yeah we can just say save all and let's go to our browser and let's clear the let's hit refresh again So as you can see here, this is the console that we have just did here, which is params console. But then the params has no, uh, how do you say, has no attribute or no, uh, like, how do you say, yeah, no data basically. What we, well, that's, that's, that's the reason behind it, because the params have, I mean, how to, how does the param knows uh, what is the params.id. So we need to make sure we are able to declare this id here. We need to make sure this id. Is actually the the most uh, end of the URL, so the end the the last part of the URL should be the ID that that should the, be the one that should be uh, taken as the ID for when when you're putting params as an object. So in order to do that, we need to we need to make sure that we need to go to our app.js folder a file sorry, and make sure whatever that comes right after I mean this block here whatever that comes right after this slash block here is supposed to be the id itself so in order to declare that id this this is very simple you just need to put a colon and you need to put id followed by id so the, what what does it happen here is that this use param will know that whatever that that comes at the most uh, end of the url should be taken and should be labeled as id okay so let's go and just uh, go and hit refresh and let's give it a check. let's give it a test here. For example, uh, as you can see, currently we are just testing the use params and whatever the whatever the params have, it should be displayed. I'm gonna hit save all. I'm gonna go to go to browser again, and there you go. We have just made ID, which is the which is this by the way, and we just made it equal to one because whatever that whatever whatever that uh, the most end of the URL. That is the data is there and at the end of that URL should be equals to ID. So that's what we had just made it here. And the right now we have already uh, made it. We have already like uh, like made sure that this params sorry this params actually having uh, like a data in it. So we can clearly we can actually use it 
you can actually just use it like params.id and you will eventually will be able to print the the number one around here and there you go you are able to print it one here so what happens here is that so the next thing is that we already tested this we can actually remove it already and the next thing is uh, we are trying to we are trying to like uh, make sure we uh, yeah filter out only the data that only matches the id the post of the id id with this particular post and params with this particular id so which is here in this case we are having one as our parameter and it should also should be looking for a block that has an id of one so that's what this particular line of code will do so what what you're going to do here we're just going to make sure we uh yeah unlock i mean uncomment this and make sure this runs actually and the reason why i put index zero is that just to make because this this post actually is still in an array method array uh, structure so an array should be having this and followed by attributes which is just part of the structure and the next thing is block title so let's give it a try here save all and let's go to our browser let me just clear this and there you go you have the uh, the, the name the title of your first block here first block is actually how to code that's the block title and let's say if i were to go back let me just go back here and this is the um yeah this is the index uh, after j uh, block index and let's go to the second block here which is block two and let's see and there you go it consoles block two right here and there you go this is how you are able to pass data between pages so that's the second part of this video we have just uh, covered the, ne the next and the last thing that we would like to do before ending this video is just need to print out this block title as in here Let's say I just need to copy this block title. Just gonna paste it here like this. And instead of instead of just consoling inside your browser, I would like to actually display it as an HTML uh, code like this. So this is just a simple yet just like a simple step. Just need to transfer whatever you do, put it inside your console. Just need to transfer it here. I'm gonna hit save and just gonna make sure everything is uh, runs perfectly. And there you go. You have block two here. And the reason why it says block two, you need to make sure you, because it's actually it's two here. It's the ID of this block is two, so it matches with the block. So if I were to go to block one here, and it should be one here, and the title should be the code how to code, which is the uh, how to code basically belongs to the first block here. And there you go. That's all we are able to do until this part of the video. So. I hope that you are able to follow up until here. If you are not able to do it, you can just actually just follow up. I mean, just go uh, one by one, each and every single uh, frame and view because that was just part of this video. So, and I, and I hope you are able to follow up until here and make sure you are able to achieve the same steps that I have uh, achieved. And thank you guys for watching this video until the end and hope you'll be meeting the next video where I'll be, watch I'll be walking you guys through on how to make sure to actually have a uh, nice blog page for example this is a simple skeleton which is just uh, basically most of it code most of this code are actually hard coded so i would like to make sure everything is in dynamically uh, shown at the same time i would like to make sure it's more beautiful more pretty and more organized and it's supposed to be look uh, user friendly as well so thank you guys for watching this video until the end in the next and uh, until the next video peace